Hello guys, I'm Jan Chernikov and I'm doing a couple of 3D Studio Max tutorials. And yeah, so hey, what's up? Hope you're ready and hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, so first thing, okay, this is what we'll be creating a piece of text, uh, Mime Studios Motion Imagery ME, Motion Imagery Media, media Effects. Basically, media effects means sound effects and um, visual effects for movies, motion images, motion pictures. Complicated name, but yeah. So um, we'll be creating this along with the shadow. So as you can see, that's what we'll be creating. Um, it kind of looks like it's in our scene. Why? Because of the shadows. And it's a bit floating, actually. But, um, yep. So, hope you like the tutorial. We'll be doing a lot with lights, skylights, and, um, casting shadows. And I'll just show you a couple of the options on that. So, let's get started. Just create a new scene and reset it. When, when you start up 3ds Max, like, as an untitled project, then you'll receive this view. This is a good view, trust me. We want to just click and drag this in here. Now, we could do it the long way, by the way. Just going Views, Viewport Background, or, or Alt B. Then going Files and locating it. And, you know, much more confusing if you just got it open in Windows Explorer. Viewport Background is so that we can see it in this area. And Environment, and, and environment Map is so that we can render it. So we want to render it. Like so. Okay. Uh, next thing... I'll, okay, better go over this. Um, middle mouse click and drag pans it, or this little thing. Zooming in is middle mouse button, just scrolling it, or zooming like that. And um, arc rotate is just to rotate it, or alt middle mouse drag. So we'll just we'll we'll just line it up. Just pretty good, you know. Um, we don't have to, but then we'll just click and drag and draw a plane. Just Make sure that that's good. I'll just make it a bit longer. Click and drag. Click and um, yeah, drag him. Left mouse button. Then we'll create our text in in um a shapes and splines. Text just click. We're gonna we'll rename it the 3D tutorial. Um, move it up. By the way, just just for some hotkeys, Q is that thing. W is the move, E is rotate, and R is uniform scale. We'll just select the rotate, and this is the snap to rotate. It will, is it? Angle snap to rotate, to toggle, whatever. It'll um, snap it to 5 degree angles, make it much easier to rotate. Or you could just put it in 90 here. Next thing we have to do is make it 3D, because it's not 3D. If we render it out, it won't render. Hello? Okay. The reason is that it's 2D. Now there are two modifiers we could use. One is extrude. That'll make it 3D. It'll render. But um, the other one that I want to use is um, gives you a lot more control. It's called bevel. I'll just quickly go over this. Um, start out line one, height two, one. That will turn on level two, four. Turn on level three, two, and minus one. Just kind of a cool look. Um. Stand it a bit more this way. Okay. Next thing we'll do is um we should just put that in here. Yep. Just really zoom in there and you can use just these controls here, Z, to just bring it down. Good. That's good. Um so now we we have to add a material to the plane that will make it look as if it's um as if it's the ground and so the shadows can be cast to it. So M to open our materials editor or here or just rendering material editor. I just use M. To get this view, there's just right click I I like five by three. The default is three by two. So you might want to change that. Double click to open it up here if you want. 
But um, standard, click on standard, double click on match shadow, or, you know, click and OK, same thing. Drag it onto this. If we render it, it'll make it see-through, but so, so that we can actually see through it in our scene, right click, object properties, and see through. So, uh, sorry, I'm just rushing this a bit, because YouTube videos can only, unfortunately, be 10 minutes, and I really don't want to do this in two or more parts. So, because it's very simple. Um, you know, uh, maybe 3,300. Okay. Now we have this pretty cool thing. All we have to do now is make sure that there is a light in our scene. So that light, lights create shadows. Now, all, I, I always use the skylight for outdoor environments. The reason is that even if it's cloudy and you can't see the sun, light is still coming from the sky. No matter where you place this, it'll still come from above. So if you place it underneath this, it doesn't matter. Now, most important thing is you want to cast the shadows. Otherwise, if you just render it, you know, that'll look very bad. So you want to check cast shadows, turn it down to like 5 or 4, 5, and if you render it, it'll look a bit, you know, muggy, but as you can see, I'll just make it bigger to HD. The funny thing is that it doesn't actually render 1920 by 1080. If it would, it'd be huge because I've only got it 1280 by 800. Laptop monitor, I'm using a laptop. Um, yeah. So that that's already looking, you know, pretty good. Um, if you, if you, you do want to, this is just for a preview, if you're actually rendering it out for like a movie or something, you want to turn it up to 20. Um, back to the materials editor, we'll just quickly add a material to the material library. If you don't have this straight away, just open it. It's called 3ds Max. Um, I'll just quickly use a Benedetti, Benedetti. One, click and drag, just to make it a bit better. We aren't really going into this. And, um, that'll look pretty good, I guess. Um, just zoom in a bit, we'll make it a bit bigger. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty good for, like, you could probably do this in three minutes without me going on about all the different features, but, um, I don't know why you would use this for a movie or an effect or something, but it, it could be quite cool to just display a bit of text that you want to display. 3D tutorial. So, um, um, by the way, you can do this with any object. It doesn't have to be text. I'll just quickly draw a box. Anything, anything, anything you want. Any object. Um, I'll just draw a box here and render that out. It'll look very rough with 20 samples, trust me. Where's our little box? If you want to save the bitmap, just this, or in the render output. Can't do it now. Yep, so, as you can see, it's still casting the shadows that you want. Here we go. It's still getting light and stuff, and that's what we want. Um... This view is actually good if you've got a background so you can see what actually you've created. So, you know, just guess there's a shadow from a building. You'll be able to see what you've created. So, I'll just quickly show you the 20 sample thing. So, for our light, 20. And I'll see you in a bit. Yep, so this is it rendered. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot, as you can see, smoother. And you know, better. That's all we have time for. Please comment and rate. Um, not, not so that I can say, oh, look, I've got such a good rating or I've got so many comments. Um, just so that I can improve future t tutorials and give me, give me a couple of, maybe a couple of, um, things that you want me to teach you to do in 3ds Max. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at it. It's my job. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to save it. I don't have to, this is just a tutorial, but yeah, thanks for watching.